Hi everybody, it's Jordan Beckwith from Remax Finest Realty in Kingston and jordanbeckwith.com. And on this episode, I wanna shed some light on the process of the home inspection. I have my good friend, Jason Gravel from Dominion Home Inspectors here with me today. And he's gonna walk us through some of the equipment he uses, uh, some of the things he looks for, and how his equipment that he uses uh, helps him to find things inside walls and different things that he does that we typically can't see without it. So enjoy the tour, and I'll be right back with you in a minute. Okay, so here's some of the equipment that Jason uses here. And Jason, can you walk us through what these tools are and uh, and what they do? Absolutely. Uh, here we use an infrared camera okay. uh, to scan the foundation walls, looking for A, yes, we do have insulation, B, is there moisture, and when we do find moisture, we actually back it up with a moisture meter to read how, how much percentage of moisture there is. Very cool. Uh, we also look for heat transfers or def deficiencies in the foundation. Um, moisture always shows up as a cold spot. So for example, over here in this corner, when we see the staining here, it's still not enough dampness to show up on the infrared, but because of their staining, we use the moisture meter that, that reads into the wall, and here we see uh, there's 7% moisture. Okay. Not a huge issue. But we should definitely correct the issue outside, meaning in this case the hot tub when it's splashed around is leaking against the wall. Okay, and, and is that uh, grading outside towards the house? Yes, grading is key for every house to remain dry. Or keep the moisture flowing <laughs> away from the house rather than towards it obviously and that'll Absolutely. prevent issues like this. Eh? So we just kind of found this as a as an obvious visible spot that there has been moisture of some some sort and yes. we're we're assuming that it's uh it's the grating towards the house out here by the hot tub absolutely all right and now here we have some uh electrical uh tools that we can check electrical another thing that is hard to see because it's in the walls uh can you explain what these tools are for here jason absolutely well this one here is simply an electric screwdriver kind of speeds things up when we're checking receptacles and, okay. and whatnot when there are issues when this one lights up that there actually is an issue okay this one here is, is kind of a saver because not every oven will have a 40 amp breaker on it sometimes you run into where it's only a 30 amp breaker so when you buy your house that doesn't come with a, an oven check to make sure you have the proper amperage before you buy. What kind of problems will that uh, cause if, if that's all messed up? Well, if you buy a 40 amp oven full capacity, you're using 40 amps. If you only have a 30 amp breaker, you're gonna continuously trip that breaker. That sounds like fun, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show me how the uh, outlet, how you test outlets with that? Okay, be great. Uh, it's just a simple, simple little tool. You, to, you plug it in and you make sure that these two lights must light up okay. um, and it gives various definitions of when other lights light up and other issues that we may have. Okay, another major issue that most people, most normal people, don't crawl around in their attics. <laughs> so this is where Jason uh, really finds out some key elements of the house too. Uh, what are you looking for up in the attics, Jason? Well, right now we're looking to check out ventilation. Vent venting the attic spaces is key to prolonging the life of your roof line. We're also looking to see that we have the proper materials, that there's not going to be anything hazardous to your health up there, aka asbestos. We also look for the level of, of the R value of the insulation to, to make sure your house is kept warm. Because let's face it folks, your heating costs are literally through the roof. But <laughs> um <laughs> love it. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. I hope everyone enjoyed that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. Uh, thanks for liking and sharing this as well. And uh, as always, if you're ever looking for top results buying and selling real estate, you know where to find me and I'm always happy to help. Thanks everybody. We'll talk to you soon.